Welcome ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this equation 2 cosine squared of x times tangent of x equals the tangent of x. Um, so to do a problem like this, what we first need to do is get all of our variables onto the same side, right? Um, you can see we have two functions, cosine and tangent. Um, they do not relate to each other by the Pythagorean identities. So I, best case I'm going to want to do is see if I can apply my zero product property and set them up into two separate equations that I can solve for. So to do that, I first need to at least solve for or get them onto the same side. So I'll subtract a tangent of x on both sides. Now obviously, 2 cosine squared of x times tangent of x is minus tangent of x. Those are not like terms. So I cannot subtract them. So I have to leave it like this. But that's OK. Um, and again, you know, the same thing, guys. It, it gets to, um, you know, if I have 2xy minus x, you can't subtract the x's from each other, OK? And whenever you get in trouble with the equations like this, I always forget about the sines and cosines and tangents and whatever else. And I just use x's and y's. And you can see these are not like terms. So you cannot subtract you know, one x from the other one. OK. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to look into factoring. So just like I had this equation, I can factor out an x, though. I can't subtract them, but I can factor out an x. And that would leave me with an equation like this. Well, here I have these two terms. I can factor out a tangent of x. So I factor out a tangent of x, and I'm left with 2 cosine squared of x minus 1 equals 0. Now I have set up a product of factors that are equal to 0. So therefore, now I can apply the zero product property, which says that tan of x has to equal 0, or 2 cosine of x minus 1 has to equal 0. So now I just need to be able to determine plus 1, plus 1. 2 cosine squared of x equals 1, divide by 2, divide by 2. Cosine squared of x equals 1 half. Now I need to undo the square root. Cosine of x equals 1 over the square root of 2. Now I need to rationalize the denominator. And you could probably do all this work, especially when you've done as many problems as me, just write in the answer, uh, or write in at least what the value is. But uh, it does take a little practice, and you do want to make sure you go through it. So now we have our two cases, tan of x equals 0 and cosine of x equals square root of 2 over 2. But that's not, our, that's not what we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out what are all the, of the solutions that are going to make those equations true. So to do that, we need to know our unit circle. Okay. So we go to the unit circle. And I'm not going to go through all the points on the unit circle, but I am going to go through the main three here. So we have pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. And you have to know these coordinate points. And actually, let's do 0, 1, and 1, comma 0. OK, so remember that the tangent of any angle is equal to the y over the x, right? The tangent of any angle is equal to your y-coordinate over your x-coordinate. Well, we don't know what our angle is, but we know that the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate is equal to 0. So when can I take y over x and equal 0? Well, this y over x is undefined, and this one equals 0. So therefore, we can say that x is equal to pi. And then it would also be equal to pi at negative 1 over 0 as well. Because negative 1 over 0, I'm sorry, 0 over negative 1 would still equal 0. So it's pi, I'm sorry, 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. All, any angle that's going to end on my x-axis is going to produce a solution. So I write pi n, because if n is 0, then my angle is 0. If n is 1, I'm equal to pi. If n is 2, I'm at 2 pi. And it's just going to continue along with that cycle. For cosine of x equals square root of 2 over 2, um, ba -ba -ba -dum, bum -bum -ba -dum. OK, so square root of 2 over 2. So when is the x coordinate equal to square root of 2 over 2? Well, you can see it's right there, right? So that angle is at pi over 4. So you can say x is equal to pi over 4. But we want to determine all of the solutions. Now, if we look over here, 
if I reflect over the x-axis, I'm going to have the same coordinate point, but now the x-coordinate is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2, which is not going to be, um, is not going to be a solution. The only time it's going to still be a solution is when it's in the fourth quadrant, which would be um, 7 pi over 4. Now, so I can say x equals 7 pi over 4. However, again, what we're, not, we're not trying to find the solutions just between 0 and 2 pi. We're trying to determine all of the solutions. So therefore, to go from pi over 4 to 7 pi over 4, um, by adding that amount, if I add that again, I'm going to come over here. So I need to keep on adding 2 pi to each one of my solutions. So I'm just going to say pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, and then 7 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. And remember, 2 pi is just a revolution, right? Pi over 4, if I add 2 pi from pi over 4, boom, I get back to the same angle, which would again be another solution. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine all of the solutions of your trigonometric equation. Thanks.